The Westerville police chief addresses the community following the funerals of Officer Morelli and Officer Joring. Thank you for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Ellie Merritt. I'm Mark Taylor. His comments coming the day before the suspect accused of murder appears in a Franklin County courtroom. NBC4's Dan Perlman has more on the legal case against Quentin Smith. But first, let's get right to NBC4's Courtney Yoon live in Westerville with more on what the police chief had to say today. Courtney? Ellie, Mark Chief Joe Morbitzer highlighted the strength of the Westerville community today and thanked everyone for the support, for their support. He also made a promise to continue the legacies of Officer Morelli and Officer Joring. We found different ways to process this. This will not stop this week. This will go on forever and ever. Uh, we will continue on a new norm, if that's what you want to call it, but the new norm is to live the life of Tony and Eric. Chief Joe Morbitzer says support for Westerville has come from across the United States. I met with a contingent from Chicago at the, at the funeral. And they apologized because they could not stay for the procession because their inspector had been just shot and killed. And they were on their way back to that funeral. But they took the time here to pay respects to our two officers too. But what he's most proud of is being hashtag Westerville strong. Every town needs to be whatever town you are, hashtag whatever town you are strong. It was phenomenal that we have that kind of support and we truly appreciate it. And I know the families were absolutely touched by the amount and outpouring of, of love and emotion. We will remain hashtag Westerville strong from here on out. Chief Morbitzer says that they will be uh, taking down the police memorial here out front in City Hall later on this week. Then they will carefully catalog each and every item that was donated. Local for you in Westerville, Courtney Yoon, NBC4.